he survives me. Outlander. Even if we can turn it would be my honor to speak with him. Good to I've see heard you. of you, Antris. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You... Want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the Claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands, noticed for the first time the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the Claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years the Claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. So we got more side quests to do. I'll do those before I do like the main story, of course. You know, if there's more side quests to do, then I'll do them. You're Aloy, right? My pop, Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja, pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. 
I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banu can get unusual. Like that spear Ara talk hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen. If we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with... Her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful, and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. You're sure you can fix up this thing? You bet. Probably. Just need that Stormbird talent. This forge fire of yours, what do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a bellowback snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the Valley Meet, and a Stormbird roost near the Free Heat. I'll pack and meet you out there. This will be fun. Okay. You're looking strong. All right, well, that's gonna be cool to upgrade some of my weapons. And these are Aaron's as well. And what's this one? Find the claws beneath. Well, let's go do that one then. Do that one first. So that's Burgrand's daughter then. Okay. So I'll do this other mission first for that um like one-eyed guy. And then I'll go back and do the other Aaron's. Whatever the side quest, Aaron's. You know, if I can upgrade some of my weapons, like, hell yeah. Why would I not want to do that? If she can make them better, why not? Alright, well, let's get to it then. I'm going the wrong way. Quick save. Oh, slow-mo jump. Alright, drop down. Alright, where are they? Oh, there's a rock breaker. Okay. Oh. Let me get up on the rock. Come on. Show yourself. I can't see all these rocks shooting out of me. 
Uh, this Come on. Where are you? Jesus Christ! Piece of shit! Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Where's he gone? This is the first rock breaker I've encountered up here as well. Up in these parts of the land. Got him. The clothes beneath. Oh, Mac wasn't lying when he said you were tough. Oh, it's dead now. I don't no way I'm not gonna loot this one. Demonic rock breaker. Right, well now I'm going to do the other errands as well first, because then I can come back for both of these things. Alright, where's that? Well that's cool how we're doing something that's taking us back outside of this part of the world, and then back to the old. So gather a bellow back snout. So I'm doing this, why, am I, why is it with the other two, I'm doing it with her? Like, if I've already forgotten her name. Why is I'm doing it with Bergrand's daughter, but with this one, I'm doing it by myself? Like, why is it with the other two, I'm doing it with you, and then this one, it's on my own? Like, why? What's the point in that? But whatever, I guess. Okay, which way? Wait, which way am I going? It's like, okay, this way. I can see the better backs. Need to shoot those big green things, and then they should blow up. There you go, easy. Done. Now I've just got to get it snout. Does bellow backs even have snouts? That well, should do it. Apparently it Varja does. Can her forge fire now. Well, well, I'm not going to head back just yet. Yeah, Varja, that's what she's called. I'm going to do the other stuff as well. Alright, well, let's head there. But there are bellow backs in, like, the cut. Like, there are bellow backs up there, so why are we going outside of the cut to then get a bellow back snout? But there are bellow backs up there, and there's a thunder jaw too. But there aren't any storm birds. Alright, so which way? Oh, there she is. You know, I kind of missed all this red dust. Well, there's our storm bird. When you're ready, I'll follow up and boom. What? What do you mean you follow up and boom? What the fuck are you on about? Yeah, I see you. You bitch. Oh yeah, got him. Killed him. Now I just need to get his talon. Yes. So I sit your asses down. Well, I just thought she could improve the storm sailor with us. All right. Now let's head back to her. Is she going to improve it right here, or do we have to meet her back for her to improve it? Where is she? Oh, 
know she is. Got that part you need? Perfect. Already got machine oil on my hands. Remind me what we need to fix up that thunder job. Here it is. One Stormbird Talon. Let's do it. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Watch and learn, Aloy. Only don't stare directly at the sparks. <clears throat> okay, so I pretty much had to break her in half. But what's a staff? A stick. One thing I like about sticks, you can put them back together however you want. Which you did. This thing looks a whole lot more dangerous. She's better than dangerous. She's a genuine Varja special now. Take good care of her. What you did to that storm slinger? That was some impressive work, Varja. Hey, it's nothing. I just helped her become what she was always meant to be. They grow up so fast. I've got what you asked for. Show me what you had in mind for the forge fire. Finally! Was feeling like I neglected her. And that's a little too close to my family life. She's done and she's yours. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That looks great. I almost expected you to turn it into a burning rope caster or something. Nah, she was close to perfect from the start. She's a Varja original, after all. Thanks for your work on the forge fire. Pleasure. I mean, you couldn't be more of an improvement on her last owner. What a pile of slag he was. Okay, Varja, let's move on. <laughs> you don't want to catch some of that Karja sun? Nah, you're right. I'm always right. Now there's like one more thing to do. Yeah, the Thunder Jaw. And then that should be the last of it. Oh, uh, and it's raining. Oh, well, it's been a while since it's rained. Because obviously where I've been at, it's always been snowing. It's too cold for the rain. I don't mind the rain. Move. Those machines are alert. Yeah, that's fine. Move, bitch, get out of the way. Alright, this way. You're fine. They shouldn't follow us up here anyway. Alright, get up. We're fine. Sure feels good to be out of knee deep snow. So, we've got a thunder drop. I'm ready to do this. On your lead. Knee deep snow? We're in knee deep water, more like. Alright, where is it? Oh, I don't s oh, I see it now. Oh, I've got his attention now. And it's running away, pussy. Don't run from me. Oh. Where do you think you're going, pussy? Let me use some of these ones, actually. Got it. Oh. What the hell? There's a little cave. Sh what the fuck? 
Let me out. Yeah, you're not doing that shit anymore. Alright, back to the normal ones. Got him. Down the bitch. There. Varja should be able to fix up the ice rail. And this should be the last upgrade that there is. Found the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of the Thunderjaw's mouth. I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through it. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Hope slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! You weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. Thanks, Marja. These three weapons are fine work. Are you kidding? I can't remember when I had this much fun. I should be thanking you. I'm the one walking away with the weapons, aren't I? Seems wrong to charge you for giving me an opportunity to do what I love doing. Don't tell Pop I said that. Here, whenever I tinker with weapons, I go through fistfuls of this stuff. Maybe you'll get some use out of it. Oh, nice. Aloy, how are those weapons treating you? They've done right by me so far. Glad to hear it. Return the favor, yeah? What? Alright. Oh, so now it's got two different types of ammo. Well, that's cool. So it's like a flamethrower and it shoots out spikes. That's cool. I appreciate that very much, Varja. Very much. Alright, so now there's that one to do. Wait, what? Tutorial? Scorch is hit with the ice cannon after freezing. Okay. Crafting. Yes, yeah, so there's probably more ammo to craft. Good thing I have blaze, or I barely had enough then. Alright. Oh yeah, now I can add two modifications to them. Oh, they look so much more cooler now. Crafting. I need to modify these bad boys. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Very nice, very nice. Oh, they're looking so much better now. Very nice. Alright, let's head back. That's it, that's done. Well, I mean, there's this guy to talk to after, you know, I killed that rock breaker, that demonic one. And then that's it, and then I can continue on with like the main story of this DLC. The Frozen Wilds. If I can load up quicker, I can get on with it. And will um, Varja be back at this camp? Probably. Come on, hurry up, it's taking ages. There we go. Nice. Alright, is. Yeah, there she is. Aloy, how are those weapons treating you? They've done. Glad to hear it. Okay, then. Alright, let's talk to this guy. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rock breaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. This part of your song will travel far. 
I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters who killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. Cool. What did he? What did he give me? I'll just kill. It. Oh, I got some blue gleam. Nice. Only one though. Great. Thanks. Um, what's in the processed metal block? That's great. Yeah, disassemble this shit. Yeah, disassemble. Alright. Quick save. And uh, now it's time. Where's our attack? Yeah, I'll talk to him since that's optional. Long notch is well stocked. Why that's wouldn't rest. I? And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. Alright, do you want to make way for the chieftain? But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them. Stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Alright. Even though I'm chieftain, he says it's like a heavy burden. It doesn't really seem like any everyone likes it. Like, they give me an attitude about it. It's like, chieftain. It's like, what the fuck was that? It's like, do you want to go sit head, like, neck first, like, neck deep in the snow, bitch? Like, shut up. Give me an attitude. It's like I'm the chieftain. Show some fucking respect. Like, I didn't just get here by doing nothing, did I? Oh, come on. I want it fairly. So this is it. Um... Oh, now I wish you luck on the mountain. Aloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and 
Perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but... No, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. Sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him. Worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratok would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratok, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Bon Or from the distant north, a young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Werek that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually... An invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but... That was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmström, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned... The caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we gonna find up there, Horea? Ruins. Machines. And a door. Like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. 
Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! You can call upon the power of the old ones. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from its terrible day. Fortress? It's more like a machine. I mean, it is quite a big place. Yes. I envy you. What did they say? I'm not sure yet, Ryan. You wouldn't understand anyway. Here, up and over. All right, let's go. Oh, what's that? I know that's a supply crate. Let me grab that first. All right, let's go. I think I heard the machines on the other side of this wall. And also, how did Aurea notice Aloy is listening to something? And then what says Kenny's homecoming? Joshua, the return of the director Emeritus Descent Hollow title. Gina, no, bad title and worst subject. The camera crew would die of boredom. Joshua, whatever, Gina. It's still the most excitement this Hell Cave's seen in a long time. Gina, your standards for exciting are depressingly low. Joshua, I'll squeeze out what I can out of this. Thanks. Gina, you always were a little sweet on Kenny. Joshua, what? No way. His ears are enormous. Besides, he was too busy mooning over Anita. 
Um, Gina, I want to know what he's doing here in the first place. It's not normal. Joshua, he helped engineer the most advanced geothermal facility in history, then rode off into the sunset. Now he wants to check up on his master work. Seems normal to me. Gina, but why now? He keeps poking around in the corny facility and asking questions about Cyan. Do you think there's something wrong? Joshua, last I checked, there's been no deviation in any of our readings since the most recent micro-quake swarm. Maybe Kenny likes taking field trips on Pharaoh's dime. Gina, it's been 14 years. They would have frozen those accounts by now. Joshua, has it been that long? Man, I'm old. Gina, not old, just boring. Alright. Let's continue on. Um. Oh, we're climbing, okay. And I'm already seeing machines. Yeah, strike from above. Nice, got him. See another one. Alright, he looked away. Oh. That. So what was this place? A geothermal place? Some shit like that? What are you talking about? Okay, so this door's open. Why is it open now? I like how they have that, like, Weapons. I oh, still use the bow. At least we have the drop on them. I don't know. I just like using the bow and this ammunition type because it just. I just try to use it. Does what it's supposed to do. And what's this? That kiss. Must have been sometime in the spring of 2047, about six months after the main facility opened. We were behind schedule and new data indicated that an incident was closed, maybe only weeks away. I was exhausted, losing weight, barely speaking, except to give orders. I passed by Anita in the battery depot. She looked at me and frowned, then pulled me into this room and kissed me, a long kiss, the best kind. I can still remember the feel of her hand on the back of my neck. After she looked at me and smiled and went back to work without saying a word, I'll never forget that moment her touch, her unspoken generosity. After she left the project, I spent years beating myself up for not keeping her. Somehow, every time I ran into her at a conference, I felt thrilled and lost and confused, all at the same time. Always hoping we might have a few drinks and, well, rekindle. It was only after I saw her on stage in a hollow in 50A accepting the Mind Challenge Award in Austin, with Elizabeth Sobek presenting no less. Glowing and happy and fulfilled, that it dawned on me that I didn't, hadn't done anything wrong at all. I could finally see what that she had what she wanted and simply wasn't me. Okay, I think you're overthinking this a bit too much. You know, you're kind of getting a bit too emotional and not really thinking clearly. And then thinking about all this other dumb shit. Doesn't matter now, that happened way before this. So it's not my problem anymore. Well, it wasn't my problem anyway. Uh, which way are we going? Okay, is there something up there? Because I could climb that. And also I want to check, make sure I don't miss anything. Oh shit, whoops. Right, we're fine, relax. Okay. Could I climb that? It looked like I could. Maybe not. No, I guess not. Alright. Let's continue forward.
What was that I couldn't get? Oh, that's fine. So some, somehow this facility is still operational. Not much farther now. How big is this place? Last we were here, we fought our way through there, but machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Pipes, towers, steam, frost. On this floor. Yeah, this is like, like wow, what is happening here? Right, so. Take our attack's path, which is directly to the tower, or take Aurea's path. I guess I'll take Aurea's path. Try and be more stealthy. I went this way years ago, looking for cover in case machines came prowling. I have no doubt that it's guarded now, but we'll be able to stay in. I'll just stalk her. I'll lure him over. Stealth kill him. Come here. Gotcha. Oh. Okay, that's a scrapper, that's fine. I can't spare the weight. Alright, let's go around this way. Is there anything on this side? Yeah, there's another scrapper. There's probably more than one stalk around here somewhere. Uh, let's keep moving forward. That's what I said. These aren't cheap. Uh, let's keep going. What's this? What's this? Incident report? So, incident, re incident information report, firebreak project type, property damage and personal injury, date of incident November 4, 2063, time of incident 411, reporter Jorgen Holm. As official incident reporter for the firebreak project, there is with great concern that a report of an incident at our facility. The incident began from a swarm of 35 seismic events beginning on 3rd and 4th November, 9.6 kilometers, 6 miles, north-northwest of Mammoth, I think, and then WY included were 4 in the magnitude 2 range, with the largest magnitude 2.4 at 0409, the 4th November, holographic melding White modeling shows most quakes originating at the Hebgen Lake Fault Zone. As the project's senior geoscientist, I advise this number and magnitude in seismic events is a normal outcome from fluid movement through the cal wait, calderas silicic magma 
reservoir, as well as changes of pressure coming in interactions between magma and supercooled fluid. However, one can be never too careful in such an unstable environment. Shown further in this report, the incident began when I was weakened from a loud crash in the canteen. Wakened. Fortunately, I did not have the rouse, well, have to rouse the official canteen monitor since I am that self-same person even while acting in my formal office. I was alarmed and feared the worst. Inspection of the zone showed the tragic loss of a 15 milliliter bottle of nail lacquer in deep crimson. Shattered on the canteen floor, lacquer also splashed on the surroundings at an area of approximately 1E6. M2? The fuck does that mean? One chair was tipped over on its side, but happily I had the mechanical knowledge to write it without further incident. Uh, the bottle of nail liqueur is irreplace wait. Irreparable. Moreover, the canteen monitor suffered wait suffered a cut to the left hand when picking up a broken glass. This was treated by the site first aider, me, with supervision of the fire marshal, also me, but could still get infected. Gina Bruno is identified as the owner of the bottle of nail liquid. In my capacity of staff psychologist observer, I conclude that she has accepted the loss of her personal item in a good fashion, but further evaluation may be necessary. We will keep the remote site supervisor informed of developments in such a case. Please find following this report my salary increase request for the coming calendar year. Great. All right, back to it. What's in this crate? More stuff. Good. It's cold. As if there's children oh. running Well, again, more questions, which we will hopefully get answers to soon enough. Are you dumb? You don't need to make such loud noises to drop down. So I'm trying to be quiet. I, I took your way. Yeah, and then you're like going, Whoa! Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, sorry, come over here. Come on, you dumbass stalker, come here. That's right, get get nice and close. There you go, sit your ass down. I should be able to sneak up on this one and stealth kill it. Oh. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. There's no more stalkers, I don't think. We're fine. What? We're fine. Ah, oh, come on, let's go. We're fine. Yeah, we're still in the clear. We're good to go. Let's go. Another thing here. Technically, I can't suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw so that it will be completely masked by the caldera. But masked from what? Firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive, even for the dear departed Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten Anita so worked up? All right, let's continue. How far? They didn't make it this far, then. And also, why didn't they try doing this before? Just sneaking past. Is there anything on this side? No. Right, let's keep going. No space. That's fine. Is this a projector? Alright, well, I'm not going to turn that on. Oh, focus. Look at this place. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak Araya. There's the door. You might see shapes. Drawn from light. 
Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, get your ass out of the way. Hollow Redux. Okay, okay, I admit it. I watched the Hollow at the Toast Six straight times. Taking in every detail, I need to smile the way she giggled at her own jokes. My clumsy hand off the sign. Every time it played for a second, I felt like I was there again with her and my friends, savoring our success with diminishing returns, of course. By the sixth time, I was just staring at Anita and feeling really creepy about it. But I can be forgiving, can't I? It was the best night of my life. Besides, I'm entitled to a little nostalgia. We saved the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation by ash. So there's that, right? Oh, let's do it. It's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Penny Chow. So, here's to you, Penny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> Say you deserve a margarita. Hold your glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> it was the spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. As for the spirit, I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. Well, let's go. We'll have to carve through a lot of machines to get to that door. More than the Warak could prevail against before. Aloy will see us through. Onward then. Our challenge awaits. Oh, let me see what this says first. The geothermal plant can be suspended. The cooling system masked. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All I need to do is install Anita's mysterious software and have a conversation. It's not even aiming. Let's go. Oh, I missed. Triple. Alright. Good so far, good so far. Should have brought a cart. Look at this place, this is so cool. We're inside a volcano. Look at that lava. Alright. We're gonna definitely get noticed by this one. 